Hi girls, uh, my name is Kelsey and I'm a program manager with Strong Women, Strong Girls. This means I essentially help to bring the college girls um, to your school or to your community center so you can hang out and learn about Strong Women together. So let's get started. Um, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, I'm going to read the bio of Jane Goodall um, to you and we're going to talk about, you know, some of the discussion questions that we have typically in program and hopefully you can run and grab your adult um, and you can follow along together. Okay, so let's get started. Jane Goodall is an amazing woman who shows compassion for animals and she loves biology. Um, she was an explorer actually um, and she lived in the forest for a long time um, to study chimpanzees and public publish research on you know their habits and their ways of living and you know there's a lot of similarities between chimpanzees and humans um, and she was the one to kind of find that out um, now she teaches um, and advocates um, for protecting the earth and all the living things in it and how important it is to take care of our planet when Jane Goodall was a young girl she realized that she wanted to work with animals for the rest of her life how many of you feel that way too? She decided to become a biologist. A biologist is a scientist who tries to understand the natural world and all of the things in it. Jane dreamed of working with chimpanzees, a type of primate in Tanzania, Africa. Do you know what a primate is? A primate is a group of mammals or animals that have fur, um, they are warm blooded and they produce milk to feed their babies. Um, that includes the, some of the most intelligent animals in the world. Um, there's over 300 species or types of primates. Jane Goodall first traveled to the continent of Africa in 1966, a long time ago. At that time, very few women were biologists, but Jane spent the rest of her life researching and studying chimpanzees all over Africa. It's a pretty big continent. While doing her research outdoors, Jane created field sketches or drawings to remember what the chimpanzees look like. Field sketches are a way to record observations, so record what you see while doing research outdoors. Today, Jane educates people all over the world about animal rights and how we should care for and protect our animals. She has made many discoveries on how human and chimpanzees are not so different after all. Chimpanzees are very smart and share many of the same qualities with humans. Some of them can even learn sign language to communicate with us. Do you know any sign language? Jane has become very famous and uses her connections to protect our environment and preserve the habitat or home of chimpanzees in the wild in Africa. You can be like Jane by caring for our earth and being kind to animals. Now that we are finished with the biography all about Jane Goodall, um, there's a couple questions that I want you guys to think about. Um, are there any other primates that you can name? So we've got chimpanzees, that's one. We learned that from Jane. Can you name any other ones? Remember, primates are warm-blooded, they have fur or hair, and they use milk to feed their babies. So a few other primates are humans, spoiler alert, right? Um, apes, gorillas, um, orangutans, those are the, they have orange hair, the orangutans, um, and lemurs, lemurs too. So Jane had a compassion for animals um, and changed the world to help protect them, um, which is really important. She took that power into her own hands and decided to, you know, give these animals a voice um, and educate people on protecting them. Um, so how can you change your world? How can you show compassion for other living things like Jane? Um, what would you want to protect and why? 
So girls, uh, that's our lesson for today, all about Jane Goodall. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, if you're looking for a fun activity to do at home, um, you can check out the videos that we've linked to this video of um, a live stream of penguins and cheetahs at the Pittsburgh Zoo. Uh, and maybe you can try to do a field sketch of your own, so let us know how it goes. Uh, stay safe, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. All right, till next time.